Hello, fam. How y'all doing? Y'all know I'm from Chicago, right? You know, so, <laughs> you know, they're doing construction on Expressway, right? <laughs> they closing off ramps, right? And I'm like, wait, damn. So they're giving you an alternate route to take, right? So you like, I'm going to take this alternate route and I'm going to, you know, maybe be about, you know, 15, 20 minutes late, you know, to work, you know, or, you know, later than what I normally would. So I'm going to leave out 15 to 20 minutes earlier. Makes sense, right? So you doing all this, right? You get on the damn alternate route and tell me why on the alternate route there's more damn traffic because they're doing construction on the alternate route. So they gave us two or three alternate routes that we could take. All three alternate routes they're doing construction on. What the fuck? What part of this don't you understand? You making it hard for people to do any damn thing. It's like stupid is like in full stream, you know, like you trying to figure out who thought of this plan. You know, they talk about, yeah, Chicago is the city that works. No, Chicago is the city that don't work. All the shit is just in disarray. You know, they're talking about Brandon Johnson's doing a bad job. Before him, Lori Lightfoot, you know, was doing a horrible, you know, horrible job. And the only one they were talking about was Mayor Daley did the greatest thing. He was the great. Wait, then he sold the whole damn city. You can't sell the city. Then all of a sudden, when shit, all the bills are due now, after you sold everything to pay off stuff, Lori Lightfoot had the pandemic. <laughs> she had looting and every damn thing else. You know, people were like, yeah, she should have arrested those people and all that. You know what? Those people were all colors. Now, see, it's different when it's just one color. But see, when they all colors, you know, they were arresting not just black kids, they were arresting white kids. And they were like, no, hold on, wait a minute, you know. No, your ass was saying that. So you got to look at all of this, man. This is not racial. This woman had a hell of a job. Then that Brandon Johnson got it, man. He said, there like, damn, I'm dealing with the aftermath. So what she was dealing with, the crime. So with the crime, now he's dealing with the immigrant migrant situation, man. And people don't understand. How could you budget some shit? <laughs> That you got to make another budget to add people in that ain't paying for nothing. And don't get me wrong. This country is built on migrants and things like that. And I'm not disrespecting or saying things like that. But I'm saying, damn. We got a whole homeless population in Chicago that needs a lot of help. And we helping other people from other countries. You unleashing people from prisons and shit like that, opening up prisons to let them go, and you letting in every damn body. To me, that's a lot. To me, that's extra. To me, that's just, you know, begging for people just to be upset. It's just like it's so much happening in the city, you know, and people say, well, Chicago is bad, you know, and you know, those are all the gunshots. I hear a lot of sirens in your videos. It, it's just people shooting each other. Man, dude, ain't no damn gunshots. Where they going, don't take gunshots, bro. Come on, stop playing. Not every hospital take gunshots because a lot of hospitals don't specialize in that. So, they transfer you to other hospitals. But, you know, a lot of times people don't understand that. When you tell people you don't live in a bad area, but they hear sirens, they don't understand what you just told them. They sit there and think, it got to be bad. It's Chicago. Chicago ain't the only badass place. Chicago ain't as bad as you think it is. People think you leave out the door and somebody robbing you. Shit ain't happening like that. It's bad in every damn state across this damn country. <laughs> yeah, Maine just had a damn uh, guy, what, shoot up 20 people? Maine. I'm talking about Maine. So I'm letting you know shit is happening everywhere. It's not some random shit that's happening off in a corner somewhere. It's happening everywhere. People going through shit. People fed up, people angry, people having mental issues that's undiagnosed because some people can't get into the VA, and I'm not saying that ain't him. I don't know his personal situation, but I know there's a lot of people who have personal issues that can't get to the VA who are veterans, man. And, you know, it's a backlog and people talking about, oh, no, but it, this, this and this, man, come on. People tell me that those people out there be pretending to be veterans. You know the veterans and you know the ones that are not veterans. The veterans are the ones you could tell when you look at them, there's some shit going on, but, you know, you can't really... 
justified, man. There's so much going on that people don't understand, that people just don't see. Sometimes people think you just hear it just to talk. And that ain't the case. You know, the whole thing is, you know, you're here to be better. You're here to do what you need to do and to move forward. But a lot of people don't get that. A lot of people want to talk and complain and make everything out to be somebody else's issue. And it's not. Right now, this country is facing a bigger problem. It's called crime. It's called uh, hopelessness. It's called desperation. A lot of people are feeling that way. When you're having a hard time buying food, because food is so damn expensive now. You know, even at the damn Dollar Tree, shit had to go up because they said we couldn't stay in business. People mad because Dollar Tree became a dollar and 25 cent tree. They were like, hey, it was either that or go out of business. And people talking about, well, y'all should have thought twice about that. You know, maybe, you know, and um, put it out there on a vote. They said, hell, it ain't no vote on that. You know, either it was a dollar 25 or we go out. You know, then they got stuff in there that's three and up now, you know, from three dollars to like five dollars to like up, you know, and I see why now it's hard. You know, this is why a lot of dollar stores can't stay dollar stores anymore, because this country has found a way to inflate every damn thing. But you inviting more people in. I'm going to explain something to you. If there was nowhere for these people to go, they wouldn't invite them in. And see, this is what a lot of people miss. They invited the Ukrainians in, the Venezuelans in. Brother, I'm going to tell you something. There's a lot of real estate in the U.S. There's a lot of real estate in states and cities that are deemed big cities. There's still space. There's a lot of space in Chicago. There's a lot of unrented places. But the thing is, a lot of people don't want extra people in their neighborhood. You know, they done had enough, man. You know, shit. I don't blame people who make a certain amount of money a year. You know, you in here living in Ken Kenilworth and uh, Glencoe. You living in uh, Evanston on the, right on the beach and mansions. Man, of course you shouldn't have people just, but everybody should bear the blunt of this. No, they shouldn't. If I didn't ask you to do this, you shouldn't be doing it. And if you did this on your own, it should be a move that you should be paying for. Oak Park is trying to take the migrants in because they realize there's a big, hefty thing with it. It's like $100 million that comes with it. Fam, no matter what you do, there's a problem going on in Paris. Because the migrant population wanted uh, better living conditions, better this, better that situation was going on in Germany with the Turks and you know they were saying they wanted this and that they had them for a year they sent them back because they like look we ain't no we ain't no support you now uh, thing is happening over there in Italy there's things happening every damn where man the United States this shit happening here in Poland shit is real the Ukrainians came over here man Poland had what a population in the here in Poland of like 30 million 10 million Ukrainians came here. 10 million. When I say 10 million, you know how much 10 million is? It's a lot of damn people. That's something that we should be thinking about. It's not how a lot of people make it sound. See, people don't think about that. You know, when you hear 10 million, that's something different. Get what I'm saying? 10 million people in a country the size of basically Illinois. I'm talking about there were already 30 million. You bring an additional 10 million. And when the people came here, they weren't paying for anything. They were saying they're Ukrainian and they were walking out of stores without paying, you know, getting their hair done and saying... You tried this, they tried this shit in the United States. They were going to jail so damn fast. The shit was crazy. You found out the U.S. don't play with your ass when it comes down to money. Nobody your friend. And I'm just saying, you got to be careful. It's just a lot of people are just tired of this shit. It's just a lot going on and everybody blaming everybody. It's not one group. You know, I hear about the homeless situation. 
oh, there are so many black people going homeless. Fucker, we, we don't even make up a big population in the damn overall scheme of things. And, you know, we the only ones going homeless. I'm like, stop fucking playing. There are so many different people going homeless out here. Dude, there's tents everywhere. There's tents of all colors of people. This is what I'm saying. The only tents of that I don't see a lot of, and I've never seen this before, and I had to ask. I've never seen homeless Hispanic people. You know, until the migrant population, I didn't see that at first. No matter where I looked, I didn't see that. It's amazing how all this shit works itself out, fam. You know, and this is no hate. This is just me talking about real shit with real people. Uh, but to later, fam, thank you for watching. Peace out.